Hello everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 35. In this tutorial we are going to look at implementing Dear I'm GUI. Now what this is, is if you Google uh, the I'm GUI GitHub, and I'll have a link to it in the video description, it is uh, well something we can use to just easily do a UI in our DirectX application. And you see if you scroll through uh, the basic info on it, you see some examples. We can get a little more advanced and it has a lot of neat built-in widgets and it will just save us time when we are debugging as building a UI ourselves would be a whole tutorial series in itself. So we'll, first let's go ahead and download this and we are going to open and extract this archive. Now, once we have this archive open, we are going to open up the master file. And first, we will need uh, all of these headers and CPPs except the demo, the I'm GUI demo CPP. So let's go ahead and copy these, everything except the demo. And let's go back to our solution folder. Now in our DirectX solution folder, we are going to go into the graphics folder and we are going to create a new folder called I'm GUI. And inside of this, let's just paste these headers and CPPs. Now, since our implementation is for, is for DirectX 11 and it is on a Windows platform, there are two more things we will have to add. So let's go into the examples Inside of the examples, you will see the DirectX 11 implementation header and CPP, as well as the Win32 CPP and header. So we are going to copy these, and back in our folder, we are going to paste these. Now this should be all the CPPs and headers that we will need. So back inside of our solution, Let's go ahead and add a new filter for our graphics filter for the I'm GUI files. We're just going to call it I'm GUI. And then for the source files, create a new filter, I'm GUI. Now let's go ahead and add our existing items into the uh, header filter. So we're just going to go into our graphics folder, our I'm GUI folder, uh, sort these by type so that we can easily select all of the headers and press add. Now let's go and add the CPPs. Same idea, but now we just select the CPP files. Alright, so now we have added all of the CPP and header files that we will need. We are almost ready but there are just a few more things that we need to take care of. First, let's go into our graphics header. In our graphics header, we are going to need to add a few more includes. We will need the I'm GUI header, the Win32 implementation, and the DirectX 11 implementation. Next, let's go to our graphics initialize. And inside of this, we are going to set up I'm GUI. So we need to call check version, create context, uh, call git IO, and do the uh, initialization for Win32, and do the initialization for DirectX 11. And keep in mind, after we have initialized our device and device context, we will be passing in the pointer to this. And then we can just set, there's a few different styles. You could uh, set your style to the light style or dark style or the default classic. And at this point, we are ready to start drawing. So the way that this works is every frame, I'm just going to put this all at the end before present, just to separate it from our other stuff. So what we will do is first we will start the IMGUE frame. And since we're using Windows and DirectX 11, we have to call the DirectX 11 new frame, Win32 new frame, and then I'm GUI new frame. We're going to create our window, which we're just calling this window test. So I'm beginning a new window called test, and then I'm just ending the window. I'm not putting anything in it. 
we need to assemble the draw data, and we do that by calling render. And then to actually draw, to actually render the draw data, then we have to call the DirectX 11 implementation of render draw data, and then pass in what we get back from get draw data. So just to show you, if we test this right now, all right, so what we get is we get this window up here, and you notice if I try to interact with it, it's like my input is not being seen. So the reason for this is because there's one more thing we have to do. Let's close out of that window. Let's go into the window container CPP. Keep in mind the window container, this is where we had our window proc function, which is handling all of our input. And we're going to add a couple things to this. First, we're just going to uh, declare this function. We're saying it's external. It's going to be coming from I'm GUI. And then we need to uh, call this. And what this will be doing is it will be routing all of our messages to the I'm GUI wind proc handler. And now when we test this, we should be able to interact with that window. All right, and we are. All right, so that is all that we are going to cover for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to look into uh, using I'm GUI some more and maybe have like some buttons to move around this square or something like that.